Brad Pitt has amassed $300 million thanks to big hits like Ocean's Eleven, Fight Club, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So how does an A-lister like Pitt drop that kind of cash? Brad Pitt isn't just another Hollywood actor. He's basically Hollywood royalty alongside the likes of George Clooney, Tom Hanks, and Meryl Streep. I'm pretty sure there are meetings, a newsletter, and everything. So when it comes to his homes, the expectations couldn't possibly be higher. Well, Pitt has been spending millions to live up to the legend. The most famous of his homes is definitely his chateau in France. The $67 million chateau Miraval was bought in 2011 by Pitt and then wife Angelina Jolie. The main house is definitely regal enough for Hollywood royalty. It features 40 rooms, a spa, indoor and outdoor pools, a home theater, and what's apparently a pretty epic game room for the kids. It also has a legendary recording studio that's been used by the likes of Pink Floyd. The home sits on 1,200 acres of land that features pine forests, olive groves, a lake, and a moat. The home also features its own winery that has apparently become quite the passion of Pitts. In 2021, he released Miraval's second brand of champagne. Their nicer bottles go for over $369 a pop. Of course, if we're talking about Hollywood homes, we've got to have a home in Beverly Hills with a giant pool, weird furniture, and an immaculate white interior design. Well, Pitt doesn't disappoint in this arena either. This 11,173 square foot French Normandy revival style residence was where he lived during his marriage to Jennifer Aniston. They spent three years and millions of dollars renovating the house with a new screening room, heated marble floors, and a bar with wood floors brought in from a 200 year old French chateau. On top of that, the home also features a tennis court, dining room, five bedrooms, 13 baths, and of course, an enormous pool. Despite all their hard work, Pitt had to lower his asking price of $56 million down to $44.5 million just to get it sold after their divorce. A few years ago, Pitt bought the now $79 million home for Aniston as a birthday present. I feel sorry for literally anyone else who got her a present that year. Pitt doesn't just live in places like Los Angeles and France, though. He's also got a magnificent estate in the historic French Quarter of New Orleans. The three-story home was built in the 1830s and bought by Pitt and Jolie in 2007 for $3.5 million. It has traditional brick exteriors with a front balcony that hangs over the city, offering an excellent view of the Big Easy. On the inside, it has Venetian walls, marble mantles, and plenty of formal touches. It covers 7,650 square feet with five bedrooms and four baths. When you look at the pictures of this place's southern charm, you can practically hear the music and the people partying just down the road. One of the creepiest homes he has is his Los Angeles mansion. He purchased Briarcliff Manor from Elvira herself, Cassandra Peterson, for a shockingly low 1.7 million. That price might be so low because it's rumored to be haunted. The 5,338 square foot property features a big house with several smaller buildings added on. The home features normal things like six beds and seven baths. It also has plenty of crazy celebrity amenities like a skate park, a tennis pavilion, swings, a bouncy castle, and a giant slide. All of that is probably worth putting up with a few ghosts. If the ghosts weren't creepy enough though, a stalker apparently broke into his home, wore his clothes, and slept in his bed so she could deliver a homemade doll. Yeah. I take the ghosts over that. People love to see Brad Pitt riding a motorcycle. I mean, there's something about seeing him riding one in a movie that calls back to old Hollywood bikers like Steve McQueen or James Dean. Well, it turns out that Brad Pitt loves to ride just as much as people love to see him riding. He's up there with the likes of Keanu Reeves in terms of modern Hollywood bikers. For starters, he's been seen riding around LA on his Yamaha R1. This 1000cc bike is not messing around. Average retail price on these babies is around 19,000 bucks. For that price, you're paying for power. It has a top speed of 186 miles per hour that was intended for racing. Still, Pitt has frequently been photographed using this bike for his commute. 
If that's not impressive enough, he also has one that you or I probably couldn't get our hands on even if we could afford it. His $300,000 Ecos Titanium Series XX is quite the rarity. There are only 13 units that hit the road. I absolutely love Ducatis. It looks like this is one thing Pitt and I have in common. He has two Ducatis in his collection. One is his Ducati Monster 696 worth around 9 Gs with a top speed of 140 miles per hour. The other is his rare $42,000 Ducati Desmosedice Double R with a top speed of 188 miles per hour. This one is apparently more for show than it is riding for Pitt. The bike that looks perfect for Pitt is his custom Indian Larry bike. If you didn't already know, he was a true legend in the community. Bikes like this can go for upwards of $200,000. This is the bike of a true legend and artist. If it isn't the favorite of his collection, it really should be. Pitt may be known for his bikes, but that doesn't mean he has any problem buying vehicles with four wheels instead of two. The first car I want to talk about might not seem as glamorous, but it is a Hollywood favorite. That is his Chevrolet SUV, the Tahoe. Don't get me wrong, it's a luxury $49,000 nine-seater with a powerful 4.8 liter V8 engine that pushes up to 140 miles per hour. That being said, it isn't the flashiest car by celebrity standards. Chevy SUVs are such a favorite choice for its utility and look both on and off screen that they got their own star on the walk of fame. The Tahoe itself has been in a movie or TV show every year since it came out in 1995. Now, of Pitt's other cars can make that claim. Though I do believe you could justify giving the Aston Martin its piece of Hollywood real estate too. Pitt's $302,695 Aston Martin Vanquish Carbon Edition was a gift from Joe Lee back in 2015 after a serious health scare. The 6 liter V12 engine can hit 201 miles per hour, but let's be real, you drive an Aston Martin because you want to feel like James Bond. I'm not sure if Joe Lee sprang for the extra machine guns or not. The Tesla Model S is one of the coolest cars in the world right now, so obviously one of the coolest drivers in the world right now has got to drive one. This beautiful ride overwhelms most other electric cars in existence. This $79,990 ride can hit 155 miles per hour and has a 0 to 60 range of 3.1 seconds. More than that though, it's one of the slickest rides Tesla has ever built. The other rides he and his family have been spotted driving around in range from the $54,000 Audi Q7 and the $80,000 BMW Hydrogen 7 to a simple $26,000 Jeep Cherokee. Just like Pitt himself, his rides go from as rugged as possible to as classy as possible, depending on the mood. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie famously had about as easy a wedding as humanly possible. The two got married at one of their homes with flowers they picked from their own garden. The guest list was as simple as possible with only their children and a few close friends in attendance. Brad Pitt even wore a simple suit from his closet with a tie he borrowed from his son. This kind of easygoing Hollywood wedding was not what he and Jennifer Aniston had way back at the dawn of the millennium in 2000. America's Sweethearts tied the knot in a million dollar ceremony in Malibu. The two wanted the ceremony to look like a zen garden and were willing to shell out top dollar for it. They spent $75,000 on 50,000 roses, wisteria, tulips, and lotus flowers. The pair also had to make sure their guests were dancing all night. They hired a six piece band accompanied by a 40 person gospel choir. At the end, they even set up $20,000 worth of fireworks to commemorate the big day. Their guest list included a lot of the high profile celebrities you'd expect for the pair. For Pitt, Salma Hayek, Edward Norton, and David Spade, among many others, showed up. For Aniston, most of the Friends cast were in attendance. Courtney Cox, David Schwimmer, Lisa Kudrow, and Matthew Perry made it to the big day. Funnily enough, just like his Friends character, Joey, Matt LeBlanc was stuck filming a movie during the ceremony. With a guest list like this, obviously security was a pretty big deal. The couple ended up dropping a hundred grand in order to make the celebration as secure as possible. Nothing says crazy celebrity spending spree like buying a private island. It's been rumored that Jolie and Pitt purchased their own private Greek island for 4.7 million. This would be to escape the paparazzi that follows the family no matter where they go in the entire world. Well, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like a reasonable way to drop some cash. Brad Pitt has been in a bunch of World War II movies. 
that has led to an interesting hobby. He has purchased several pieces of World War II history. That includes his World War II Royal Air Force submarine Spitfire he apparently picked up for $4 million. He also bought a Cold War era Soviet T-54 tank that was evidently used in World War Z. There's no word on how much he spent for the tank, but these often go for up to $50,000. I'm sure when Pitt stars in the next WW2 movie, he'll pick up an aircraft carrier or something. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie are reportedly spending millions on getting their divorce lined out, so don't expect any tanks or islands bought in the near future. 